Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PC July Paldean Fade Tech video. And today we're gonna be playing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a control video. Yes, we're playing a control deck. And no, it's not Snorlax. Don't worry, it's not as degenerate as Snorlax. This is gonna be Ursaluna control. Now that's a very interesting idea for a control deck. And it's actually a very unique control deck that I saw in Japan. I think this deck actually was on stream at the Champions League. Um, so definitely this deck has a bit of a following in Japan and might be good in the rotation, but it piqued my interest right now in our current format. Now, Ursaluna has that attack, Pete Hunt, which for an energy puts two cards from your discard pile back into your hand. And that is a very strong effect. You basically have unlimited resources with this card. Now, this attack is similar to an old Oranguru with resource management that put three cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Now, that Oranguru did get banned, and for good reason. That was a very toxic attack. And this card, it's similar. It is on a stage two, and the cards go back into your hand, and it's only two instead of three. Still, the same thing applies. Now, there are some cool things with Ursaluna. It is a colorless Pokemon, meaning we can play it with something like Charon's Care, which allows us to heal it. Now, this deck is about kind of basically making a heal loop combo. And we are playing Pidgeot in the deck. Pidgeot EX is a really cool card to play in a control deck. It's even seen some playing Snorlax. It allows you to get any card out of your deck any turn. Pretty broken ability. Basically allows us to set up. It allows us to complete our lock. And we can use cards like Charon's Care. We have Cheryl. And we have Professor Turo's Scenario to essentially heal our Ursalunas and even our Pidgeot. If Pidgeot can't get one shot, you can heal the Pidgeot really easily with Turo and Cheryl and stuff. Um, and Charon's Care. We can give our Ursaluna more health with Luxurious Cape. Now, this deck does get a lot better in rotation because we do gain two new cards to make our Ursaluna even harder to KO. We get Mist Energy, which means we can't be Frenzy Gouging or Star requiem and we also get Hero Cape, the new Ace spec card that gives the Pokemon 100 more HP. But we do have Luxurious Cape, which as long as it's on a Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box, it gets plus 100 HP. However, that Pokemon gives up two prize cards. Now, if we put this on our Ursaluna, the Ursaluna essentially gets 280 HP, making it very hard to one it KO. And if we combine that with V-Guard Energy, it's even harder to knock out, even for something like Giratina, which can only do 280 damage. So you can kind of see how this combo works. And we can Pete Hunt, basically get back Cheryl, Turo, Charon's Care every turn, and basically just loop the Ursaluna over and over again with Rare Candy. We can Pete Hunt for Rare Candy. We have Pidgeot to help us set up. We have cards like Countercatcher to try to stall the opponent. We have Crushing Hand, remove their energy. It's all about control, and we can also deck them out with Chandelure with Mountain Roasting. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you can discard the top three cards of their deck. So thanks to Turo and Rare Candy and Pete Hunt, we can essentially loop the Chandelure as often as we like with Pete Hunt, allowing us to constantly spam Chandelure every other turn with Turo. If the opponent has no win con, you can use Chandelure to quickly deck them out so you're not at a stalemate because we don't play Pidgeot V in the deck or anything. Um, yeah, before we get the video, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any PC July pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern those code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set, like the main set, Paldean Fates, or an older set, like 151, or you want to get some IRL Pokemon TCG singles and product Card Cavern sales, all that over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, use Card LDF, check out the Shovel Squad down below, and my second YouTube channel for some extra content down below too. Alrighty then, so here is the full deckless view for the deck. As you can see, we are playing the 4-1-3 Ursaluna, the 2-2 Pidgeot. Uh, we are playing the 1-1 Chandelure. We are playing a Rodom and a Mimikyu, just kind of normal cards. Rodom just lets us build up our hand. I did consider maybe playing Cleffa in the deck too, which allows us to draw cards until we have seven in our hand. Cleffa could be cute. We also got the Mimikyu. Really good against Charizard. Now there are some other cards in the deck to talk about. So the supporters... We have Iono and Arvin. We're not really trying to take prizes. We might take prizes. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But we do have the Iono and the Arvin for our main supporters. Arvin gets you, you know, Rare Candy, Forest Seal Stone, stuff like that. And then we have the other supporters like the Turo, the Cheryl, and the Charon to heal our stuff. The reason I'm actually playing Cheryl in the deck, because um, the list from Japan obviously weren't playing Cheryl because Cheryl rotates. I think Cheryl is still good because it helps against spread decks. If you're playing against a deck that spreads damage, Cheryl is really, really good to play. Um, and also allows you to remove energy without you know, having a rare candy again. If you're in a situation where you can't use rare candy or Saluna with the loop, you can actually Cheryl instead and you don't have to use rare candy and then you can reattach Pete Hunt and then go from there. Um, I am playing Peony if we prize anything. And there's, of course, Misfortune Sisters to aggressively mill the opponent. Now, some other sneaky cards in the deck we are playing here. 
is TM Devo. Now, Charizard is a great matchup. We don't even really need to use TM Devo against Charizard. It is an option. It's not necessary, though. The reason why we're playing TM Devo is to actually beat Shen Pao. So the idea against Shen Pao is you can try to TM Devo them three times and basically run them out of rare candy. Once Shen Pao runs out of rare candy, they can't do anything. So you can, you know, sometimes counter catcher, uh, Bulky Bump, knock out the uh, Baxcalibur. You have TM Devo. You can TM Devo the Baxcalibur. If your opponent plays aggressive with the Rare Candies, you can TM Devo two Baxcalibur, moving two Rare Candies. You basically can just run Shen Pao out of Rare Candy and you win. Shen Pao is really hard to beat if they have Baxcalibur in play because they can one-shot your things super easily. You can try to run them out of Retrievals and stuff with Misfortune and Chandelure, but it is very tricky. So the Technical Machine Devo is very important in here so that we can beat Baxcalibur. And that's why it's in the deck. But you can use it against Charizard. It comes up in a lot of random scenarios. Um, but it's very good against Shen Pao to try to run them out of Vax Calibers. We are playing Calamitous Wasteland. Again, we're not playing Snorlax. Don't worry. While you're playing this deck, a lot of the time your opponent does get to play the game. We're actually working very hard to win the game. Well, the opponent doesn't really have to do too much to try to keep up in this matchup. Other than once we get, like, the loop going. But the Calamitous Wasteland is here to try to stall stuff with Counter Catcher. Don't worry. No Snorlax. No Erica. No degenerate combos like that. Um, we're playing a bit of a weaker combo. I definitely maybe think... I think we should play a Lost Vacuum or two in here for the uh, Path of Peak matchups. I don't know what we should cut from the deck, though. Um, we are playing three reversals. Just allows us to attack for one energy with Ursaluna. Again, there are times where we will use Bulky Bump to take prize cards. It is sometimes going to come up with this deck. Um, let's go short off on live and see what the Ursaluna control deck is all about. Okay, we're going against Lugia, which, honestly, I'm not too sure we have a great matchup against. Yeah, if this is Lugia, we could just get rolled. I don't play Luxray. Which would have been good. Alright, we do have a decent starting hand, but again, if this is Lugia, I'm not too sure we're in for a great matchup. It is Lugia. Oh my god. Lugia. Okay, do they have a term of Lugia? Do they have double... Oh my god, they got the double chops. Yeah, okay, we're cooked. Okay, they lose a boss, which is good, though. Hmm. Yeah, not good. I'm starting Mew's pretty bad, too. They just have the Fruit Tree pivot right away. Oh my god. That's their hand, bro! Stop! That's an insane turn one. Oh god might be jover they have another lugia okay i don't know if they're playing iron hands but if they are we're in trouble too kill okay, well, arvin for vip for seal do we have the rodom okay we do hmm the only problem is rodom is gonna probably get knocked out but i have to grab the boy we can force seal stone for Another battle VIP pass seems good to me. We did prize Litwick. We have Heavy Ball, though, so it's okay. Hmm. I don't know. This matchup doesn't seem great. We'll see if we can beat it. We'll see. Got Pidgey, Pidgey, Teddy. Uh, huh. Okay. If I put the V-Guard on the Rodom, then technically the Rodom can't get one-shot by Lugia. That's actually probably a good shout. Yeah, V-Guard on, v on Rodom's not bad, because then they need four energy to KO Rodom. Kind of make them extend a little bit for the knockout. Yeah, I don't hate that, actually. No instant charge. Yeah, I actually don't hate that. Honestly, I probably could have put the Calamitous Wasteland in play, so the Mew can't retreat. I don't want to lose it, though, right away, though, because they can, like, obviously use Lugia V-Star to get rid of it. Oh, they have iron hands. No. Bro, that's their hand. Oh, my God. They said the nuts. Hopefully, they whiff the lightning energy here. Iron hands is pretty bad. Not going to lie. That is not a good Pokemon for us. Because if I don't get stuff set up, they just run me over with the hands. This is kind of bad. We do have... Um, We have an okay hand, but it's not looking great. Teddy Earth is obviously going to get knocked out here. Yikes. Okay, they don't have the lightning, thankfully. It's still pretty bad, though. I don't play Giacomo in the deck, which would have been good for this matchup, too. I'm not sure how I approach this. Yeah, I don't know if I really have a strategy against my opponent, to be honest. It doesn't seem very... This matchup just seems abysmal. I guess I can Luxurious Cape loop the Ursaluna? That might be my... But they have the Iron Hands, though. I don't know. That's probably not going to work. I was thinking that could be the play. Uh, looping, looping our Saluna with Charon's Care could be the play. And I guess if we, I guess we can like crushing hammer the light energy off the Iron Hands. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's the play is to Charon's Care loop Ursaluna. I think that might be the play. 
This is risky, but I might have to just go into Pidgeot for a turn and just let it take a hit. I don't know if that's a great idea, but I might have to. They would have a research to, of course. They literally had the perfect hand. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they had, dude, this is so annoying, bro. They just had everything every time. My God. Yeah, Ursa Luna loop might be the play. It probably will be. Yeah, otherwise, I don't really know if I have a game plan. We're going to have to probably just sacrifice Pidgey. Or not sacrifice, but leave Pidgey on the active for a turn. Because I can't one-shot it. So, yeah. I'm actually going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of the Wasteland. It's kind of useless. I got Pidgeot. We did prize our Chandelure, which we're going to need. They only have three boss, and they're already down one. So they have two boss left. That's kind of what we're going to try to play into here. In fact, they only put the two boss. So let's go Quick Search. I'm going to grab another... Teddy Ursa here, I think. Yeah. We're just going to sacrifice. Well, not sacrifice. We're going to leave Pidgey on the active because we know they can't one-shot it. We might as well Misfortune Sisters. I don't... Do I even want to do that? I guess we can mill Earthen Vessel, which is good. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Capturing Aroma. Yeah, we know they have bot. They at least have one boss in deck. They have Gen Energy too, which is bad. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. We could Turo Pidgey on next turn. Charon's Care could work. Yeah, one of the two. Looping Pidgeot might be the play for now. I don't know. I could also try to counter catch or kill their Archaeops with Ursa Luna, maybe. Is that ever a play that we want to do? Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. This matchup is definitely tricky. Just because they have Iron Hands, dude. The Iron Hand... If they didn't have Iron Hands, I think we would honestly be okay. Because we know they can't do much damage. But the Iron Hands makes it really annoying. Because they have a way to one-shot Pidgeot and take two prizes. Because they can use Arm Press. I could put two Lightning on the Iron Hands, right? And they may be very much. It's just not good. This matchup is tough. But we'll see. We know their max damage is really just going to be the 220 damage they can do with Lugia. And depending on... I guess Mew can do damage, too. They can copy Ursaluna's second attack. Which is also really annoying. You can see why Lugia is not really our preferred matchup, but their damage cap is kind of low, thankfully. The, only, the biggest threat is Iron Hands, but finding Crushing Hammer is crucial to get rid of the energy on the Iron Hands. They could boss my Rodom here, which could be bad. They only have three boss, and they're already down one, so they are limited to how many boss order they do have. It's actually really good they lost Clara, to be honest, because that's a way they get back Lightning Energy, which is tough, so that's good. This looks like potentially the list I did my video on. Yeah, definitely is. So we'll see what they got. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go Turo Quick Search. If they get a Lightning Energy here, it gets a little sketchy. Because then they can knock out my Pidgeot with the Arm Press next turn. If not, Pidgeot should be safe for an extra turn. The other thing, too, they can't bench Luminion until they get Collapse Stadium, which is also good. Wish I played Giacomo, though. Would have been nice. All right, we'll see we draw. Peonia. Okay, we're going to have to quick search for the rare candy. I don't want to waste all my rare candy, so I need to get Ursa Luna set up at some point. Probably get a Turo. Does it matter? Not really. I don't think it really matters. I can't do a double quick search. Would have been nice if I could. All right, let's just... Instant charge. Okay, we got Ursa Luna finally. We can go rare candy Ursa Luna here, but do I really want to lose my Pidgeot? I don't want to have Pidgeot take damage and then get arm amp you very much for three prizes. That would be terrible. That's the only issue with this play. Honestly, I could have went to Rodom. They can't one shot it, right? Maybe I should have. Maybe I should just go into Rodom. That's probably honestly I should have retreated into Rodom. No, but no, then I can Turo it. Yeah, I should have retreated into Rodom. That was a misplay. I should have just gave them the Rodom. So I'm learning. This deck is kind of tough to play. I definitely should have retreated into Rodom there. Because they can't one-shot it, right? And they've already put a double turbo on the Lugia. Oh, I should have done that. That was a that might be a big misplay. I could do the Pidgeot loop again for another turn. Then I have to waste another rare candy, though. I may have to, though. It's good thing they haven't found a lightning energy yet. I need to find an Arvin or something. I have not seen a single Arvin since I played it turn once. I don't know. Nine cards in hand. What is my opponent cooking? I think, okay, they're playing the list I did a video on. They play two Ionos and three boss. So we know their supporter account, which is good. Okay, there's the Iono. I am actually fine with that. My hand kind of wasn't that great apart from maybe the Turo, but that's not a big deal. Should be a good Iono. Eh. Not, 
I mean, I guess we got the their screen's actually pretty good, but otherwise the hand's kind of it's kind of mid. We can still do the turbo loop here. They haven't found lightning energy yet, which is very good. This is weird. When I did the when I did the Misfortune Sisters that turn earlier, I was like, do I really want to do this? Because I also could get them closer to lightning, but I also could mill the earth in vessels, which is a good thing. There's no way they're going to run out of energy, right? Do I ever counter catch or stall Archeops? Maybe. They definitely have a ton of energy left in the deck. Really wish I played Jacomo or something in this matchup. Would have been good. Like I said, I should have went to Rodom last turn, not Pidgeot. Ooh, do the Arvin. Okay. So I'm trying to think. Um, could Countercatcher Iron Hands. Assuming they can't attack with it this turn, we can Countercatcher to trap it for a turn. Trap Hands. If I had Ursaluna here, it would actually be so good. I guess I can get Ursaluna. We can Countercatcher Iron Hands, and if their five cards is literally Rare Candy, or if they have Boss Energy, it's like GG's. Hmm. Kind of like that, actually. I don't know if that's actually the play, though. Trap the hands, go into Rodom. Yeah, I might go for this play. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I don't... I don't know, man. It's kind of risky. It's kind of risky, but I might go for it. Quick search. Just grab Cheryl. Could get Crushing Hammer. No, I definitely save Crushing Hammer. But I could grab it in case they do get the Lightning. We can Cheryl. What I want to do next turn, though, is I can go Turo slash Cheryl. So I'm going to Turo this. Yeah, Hammer for next turn is fine. Sure. Bossing my Pidgeot here would be pretty bad, though. Not going to lie. Can put V-Guard on Ursarine. Because then Lugia can't one-shot the Urs the Ursaluna. I, it's really down to whether or not they have a boss here, I think. Yeah, they have a boss, they have a boss. Nothing I can do about it. We'll just instant charge. I don't know. I could have boss. <sighs> do I want to counter-catcher that, though? It's so risky. No way they have lightning energy boss. The oh, my God. They have the energy, but do they have the boss? Three cards in hand? No shot, right? They can't find boss other, any other way but to just have it in their hand. Oh, God. Don't have boss, please. Please. Honestly, I think I should have just went quick search for Cheryl and then retreat. Yeah, man, that was probably the better play instead of doing what I did. Primal Turbo. They can't one-shot Rodom. Rodom is safe this turn thanks to the V-Guard energy. We can keep crushing hammer the iron hands, remove the lightning. Okay, cool. All right, nice. Whew. All right, what do we draw? Okay, this is a big crushing hammer. This needs to flip heads. Yes! Okay, huge, huge, huge heads right there. Get that lightning energy out of here. Okay. Okay, now we can go quick search for... Ursa Luna. I'm going to the Ursa Luna here. We can... No, 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 no. Do I want to... Con... I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I want to protect my Pidgeot. I don't want Pidgeot to die. If they boss Pidgeot, though, we could just, like, get it back into play. All right, we'll just retreat. I'm just going to Turo the Rodom. Countercatcher Iron Hands. Do I ever put Luxury's Cape on here? They can't one-shot me, right? No, Mew can one-shot me. Shoot. Okay, we do put that on. If they even have enough energy for the Mew, though. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Should probably bench Teddy Ursa. And then we'll Peak Hunt for... I kind of like Rare Candy Charon's Care. So that seems good. All right, cool. Nice. They could have an Iono, but again, they cannot bench Luminion at the moment, and they play one clap stadium. 
So this feels good. Now, if they have another lightning in their hand, it's like a bit of a bro moment. Okay, they have the gen energy. They're going in with the Mew. They're going in with the Mew. We can just counter catch the Iron Hands again next turn, though. They are down. How many jets have they played, though? They've only played one. They have three jets. Was there a gen energy on the other Lugia? No, there isn't. Crap. Hmm. We can Charon's Care Looper Saluna, though. Okay, they finally got a research. I was waiting for them to find that. Okay, that's a little scary. I need to heal Pidgeot. Uh, this is kind of tough, actually. I kind of need to heal the Pidgeot. Maybe... Oh, we could knock out the Mew, though. Do I just knock out Mew here? Charon's Care, knock out Mew with Bulky Bump. I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like him and the Mew. Yeah, because, like... Do I kill the Mew? I kind of like... Oh, if I kill Mew... Uh, it's actually kind of tough. Oh, they could peek hunt though. Oh, they can copy peek hunt though, too. That's true. I forgot that could work, also. That's actually kind of annoying. Could I Iono them here? Hmm... We definitely have to kill Mew then, 100%. Alright, I think we have to just knock out Mew this turn. Charon's Care, Pidgeot, knock out Mew. That's definitely the play. That's... I forgot they could do Peek Hunt. That's honestly fine, though. They obviously have Boss in hand. Nothing I can do about that. They're probably gonna get an Amp KO this turn. It's okay, though. Yeah, it's fine. A little bulky bump for the knockout. Cool. Get that Mew out of here. Did they put back Clara, though? No, they did get Clara back. Oh, my God. That's actually so bad they can copy Peek Hunt. Ah, uh, that's rough. Yeah, Mew EX kind of sucks. This matchup is so tough. Like I said, dude, this is a tough matchup. They only have 13 cards left, though, so maybe we can still win by deck out. Hmm. Could I own them next turn, I guess? I don't know. It actually is kind of tough, to be honest. Them having access to Peek Hunt is not great. The Mew EX is really annoying. Can we even win the game if they can copy Peek Hunt? It's so bad. Honestly, the Pidgeot Lube might have been the better play, but I don't have infinite access to Pidgeot, though, the entire game. There's no stall play I can make. Can't go Mimikyu, because I guess I could go Mimikyu to force him attack with Archeops to burn energy, maybe. Might be too late now. Yeah, there's boss. Like, ooh, they go for the Pidgey. Are they amping it this turn, though? That they are. They have to retreat uh, the Lugia, though. Hmm. They're not doing Clara this turn, which is good. So then we go, we can go Iono. Iono, get Crushing Hammer, maybe remove the energy. Iono, Countercatcher, Lugia, maybe, actually. That seems good. It's fine. This is actually good. This is a tough matchup, bro. This is so tough, dude. The stupid Mew and the Iron Hands. This makes this matchup, like, almost, not impossible, but, like, really, really bad. What the heck? We're going through the ringer. We can play the Calamitous Wasteland. Mm, no. Countercatcher, Lugia. Christian Hammer, Iron Hands. What are the odds they find another boss, though? They only have one boss left. Hmm. Yeah, what are the odds they find it? I'm going to super out these guys back. Artisan. Should probably still get Pidgey in play. Should I Countercatcher, Lugia? No, I don't think there's a reason to. I think I just Iono and see what we get. We definitely Iono their hand down, 100%. Mm. Okay. I like going Crushing Hammer here to remove the energy off the thing if I can. Okay, come on. Flip head so I can get the energy up there in hands. No. I mean, that was bound to happen. It's fine. We'll just do this again, I guess. It's like, no way they have light energy boss, right? <laughs> That'd be so bad. If they have a if they have their oh they could bench Luminion now though. 
They can bench fish and go boss, take another two prizes, and then I can Iona them to one. Do we even need Crushing Hammer back at that point, then? If they lose... Oh, uh, they have Peak Hunt. Doesn't really matter. But they have the bench Luminion. They can't bench Mew. Hmm. We go like hammer rare candy. Sure. I at least want to get hammer. I don't even know if we need the hammer to be honest. Cause like it's that they have the stupid mew and they have the Clara back. But if they have the if they have the bench Luminion to boss me here, that's fine. Maybe I should have Huh, maybe I should have got back Charon's care actually. You can always turro this. I don't know. This matchup's actually tough, dude. <laughs> this is so tough. This is genuinely a tough matchup. We can just Cheryl. Yeah, let's go Cheryl. Whatever. What are they doing, though? Can they take a two-prize KO? Did they find their third boss? And do they have a Luminion? I need to get the Chandelure off at some point. That's another big part of my plan. I need to get Chandelure. No, they have the fish. But now they can't bench Mew. The only way they can bench Mew is to go Collapse uh, Tempest Dive. Yeah, there's boss. What are they going after, though? Teddy Ursa, Litwick. I'd rather them KO the... I don't want them to KO Litwick, obviously. Okay, nice. Litwick lives. Insane. Let's go. That's their last boss. So that's good. We know they have no boss left. It's fine. Could I own them to one here? Is that ever worth it? Maybe? Okay, what's our top deck? Calamity's Wasteland. Okay, well, Artisan. I don't think there's anything in the deck we want to search out. Yeah, I don't really want Mimikyu. Okay, well, I own it to one. Rare Candy Chandelure seems good to me. Yeah. I like this. We could mill the Clara here, which is really good. All right, Chandelure, help a brother out. Mill some good cards. Nope. Oh, we milled the Collapse Stadium, though. <gasps> okay, actually, that might just be what we wanted then. Because now they have no way to get back the uh, the Mew. Because they can't collapse Tempest Dive. Okay, I think we might be chilling then. We got Heads on the Hammer, which is pretty good. All right, this is good. Everything's falling in place. Let's go Iono. We honestly didn't even need to Iono there. Maybe I should. I don't even know if I need to do that. Whatever. We can peak hunt. Grab Turo. Rare candy. Or should I get Sharon's care rare candy? It's probably better. Yeah, Sharon's care rare candy. That's their last Iono, too. That was actually a really good Chandelure. All right. I thought it was bad, but it's actually good. They have no Ionos left, no boss, and their collapse is gone. I think we might win now, then. Because I don't see how they can put the Mew back in play. Unless they play Water Energy. I guess... If they still had basic energy, they could have went Luminous Energy, Attached Tash, uh, Auk Return, but now they can't do that. Okay, I think we might be chilling then. I think we might be chilling. Because they have no way... If they didn't put their Luminous Energy on that Lugia, they could have went Auk Return. Okay, now we might have a shot of winning this game. There's the Clara. That's fine. They have to be playing Double Collapse Stadium. But if they were playing the list I did a video on, they're only playing one Collapse, three Mezagoza. Which means they should not have a way to get Luminion back in the deck. I'm pretty sure they can't put the Luminion back. Like, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any way they can remove any Pokemon off the board here. Which is huge. They did get the Claw. That's actually a really annoying Iono. I, the fact that I gave him Claw is actually kind of cheesy. Because now they can still attack with the Iron Hand. Whatever. As long as they're not playing 4 boss. If they have 4 boss, so be it. Okay. That's fine. They can't attack with Luminion, right? I'm pretty sure we should be safe from getting killed by fish here. There's no... Or not killed, but they can't do fish. That was a really good Chandelure. We milled some very good cards. The fact that they still got the Claw off the Iona, like I said, that was actually kind of annoying. <laughs> it's actually kind of stupid they still got that, bruh. That's... Yeah, you know, the more I think about that, the more it actually frustrates me. All right, whatever. We can Charon's Care Loop him. It's not a big deal. Do they have anything else going on? Or are we cooking? Grass energy. Are they going to retreat? They are going to... Ooh, now we just counter catch Iron Hands. Hmm. Yep, other counter catchers in there, right? Yep. Quick search counter catcher. Chance carry loop. Seems good to me. I'm surprised they did that. Okay, now I think we do probably just win this game. That Chandelure was a godsend. Milling Collapse Stadium. 
and Iono is actually so based. Okay. Let's see what our top deck's gonna be. Or candy. That was a pretty good top deck, not gonna lie. Okay, grab countercatcher. Should be one more in there. Yes, sir. They still have jet energy, obviously, which is fine, but whatever. They can't stop the Ursaluna loop. Assuming they don't have any boss left. They shouldn't have a boss left, though. They shouldn't have any boss left in the deck. Might as well put that on just in case. And then peek hunt. Grab. Countercatcher. What do we want? Countercatcher and Turo? No, we want Charon's Care. Derp. Yeah, we need Charon's Care. Oh, not I wanted to do that. We need the Charon's Care loop. See if they have the Jet Energy in their hand. They have two in the deck, so they should have a Jet Energy here. We just keep counter catching there in hands. That's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go Charon's Care, counter catch your hands. Charon's Care, counter catch your hands. They just have to not have four boss, which... Like I said, if they're playing the list I did a video on, there shouldn't be a fourth boss. That should be the last of their supporters, actually. They have Burnett. It's not going to do him anything. Oh, they don't got it. Oh, we got a free turn. That's huge. We got a free turn. Okay, well, they had energy. Whatever. That's fine. Still, we got a free turn regardless. They, yeah, they can't even attack. A free turn for sure. Insane. Quick search. What do I even have in the deck I need? Grab Turo. Maybe it's Turo, Chandelure, sure. Seems good. I could counter catcher and Archeops here to make them burn another energy. They could have the gen energy, but no, they're actually they're at a jet. I think I just counter catcher Archeops, right? Because they can't move that potentially. So I just put the energy in play. Alright, whatever. Let's just do this again. Countercatcher rare candy? No, we don't need the rare candy. We can go countercatcher Turo. Sure. Yeah, that's correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we just go Charon's Care. Okay, cool, cool. They might have no energy left, right? They're down 6, 9, 12, 13, 15 energy. Do they really have an energy left in the deck? That should be their last energy anyways. Yeah, I think, I think we're winning because we milled that Collapse Stadium. I think we were going to probably lose this game had we not milled the Collapse Stadium there. I guess if they went Mew, I could have looped Charon's Care regardless, but it's still big that I did that. My phone just fell off my desk. All right. Funny enough, I have more time on the clock than they do, which is actually jokes. I think that's it. Do they have no energy left? Do they have no energy? We win. We win the game if they have no energy. I have Primal Turbo. It's fine. Yeah, they got no energy left. Are they just trying to burn the clock? They're going to time out before we do. So I don't really care. <laughs> They're going to run out of time before we do. We can mill them with Chandelure. If they have no way to move, we can loop Chandelure every turn. So there's no way they can win. If this is it, that's GG's. They want, if, if they're salty and want to burn the clock, so be it. We'll see what they do. They might be out of resources. I th they might be just making sure they're out of resources. Maybe they're not burning the clock. They might just be out of resources here, which I think is what happened. Okay, then they had energy. Whatever, that's fine. That's why I grabbed Countercatcher. Let's do that again. We do have the Sharon's Care. That's fine. Cool beans. Let's go. What's our top deck looking like? V-Guard? Cool. All right, so... Let me go Sharon's Care, the Ursa Luna. Promote this... Attach, cape, bench, rare candy, chandelure. Why not? Just get the get the get the mill, baby. I don't even need to do Pidgeot here. I'm not even gonna bother doing quick search. We don't need anything. We'll just mill. Okay, cool. Countercatcher. Don't think I need to do anything else, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And then we'll just go peak hunt for rare candy, Sharon's care. Broken strategies, bro. Broken strats. Okay. Probably GG's. Because if they have no way to move, we can now probably just loop the... Yep, that's game. Let's go. All right. They had no other out. Sick.
GG's. Good game. Honestly, bro, that was a sweaty game. As soon as they peak hunted, I completely forgot they could copy peak hunt, which is crazy. But we got there in the end. And uh, yeah, that was a good game. We uh, managed to win. That Chandelure milling the Clap Stadium in the Iona was what won us the game. Yeah, the Clap Stadium mill was huge. Because as soon as they can get Mew back into play, we're screwed. Okay, uh, again, in this game, we are going to open up the Teddy Ursa. Our hand's kind of mid, to be honest. I got no Arvins or Ionos. I'm stuck Peonying. There's a Rodom. We're playing against Serena. Okay, that's fine. We have Cheryl, which is probably fine, right? And they can't one-shot Ursa Luna. Okay, this matchup's actually fine. We have Team Devo, too. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. I ain't worried. My opponent had the nuts in hand going first. That's awesome to see. They, that's, that's a pretty good hand. I, I, sure. That's actually insane. That was her hand, not gonna lie. It's not helping. All right, well, Peonia. All right, what do you got for me? Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, dude. Hmm. Take that back. This is kind of bad. Kind of? No, nah, I don't know. Rodom? Okay, thankfully it wasn't the other prices. That would have sucked. Instant charge. Hopefully we don't get KO'd here. My opponent, like I said, had kind of the most ridiculous start I've ever seen a Serena deck ever have going first. Hopefully they ain't got a rare candy Serena switch energy. That, of course, I have rare candy, dude. No shot. That's their hand, bro. Stop. <sighs> Do they actually just have, like, switch and everything? There is actually no way. This is kind of bad. We do have TM Devo, right? So I think part of our win con is to just use TM Devo and hope they don't play Vanillish. That's their hand? Okay, what the heck? I actually have never seen a Serena deck draw so well in my life. I cannot believe that is their hand, bro. They had Rare Candy, Bibberol. All that, dude? No way. If they actually hit the Switch energy, I'm done. Okay, good. That's insane. That was their hand. That's actually ridiculous. Okay, what do we draw? Nice. That's a really good top deck. Okay. What's the other prizes? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Grab the Teddy Ursa. Well, Arvin... Nest Ball, Four Seal Stone. Grab Pidgey. I don't think we go Rare Candy here, right? Yeah, definitely don't go Rare Candy. They could Iono me, though. We'll put that there. Put that there, and then we'll just Instant Charge. We'll save the Rare Candy. Yep. Okay, cool. Got some stuff. This Bibro could be stuck for another turn. They have Irida for Rope, though. If they get Iono plus Switch, this could be bad, maybe. We'll see what happens. Braviary, that's fine. Yeah, I think we're going to have to probably rely on TM Devo. Honestly, part of my... Ugh, they would have the Iono, dude. No, my hand was so good. Dang it. All right, what do we got? That's mid. That is very mid. Got Ursary, I guess, which is okay. Dude, super mid hand. All right, what do they do? Dude, do not get the switch. Okay, good. I was like, dude, if they actually get switch energy, I'm going to cry. Okay. What's our top deck? Anything good? Nope. I guess I'd go Rare Candy Pidgeot here. Yeah, I kind of have to. It is what it is. That's a dirty Iono. Where you at, Pidgeot? There you are, buddy. Yeah, so Cheryl is our best friend. Cheryl and Sharon's care. So I think we'll be okay in this matchup. Honestly, this is kind of a free matchup. I'm right thinking about it. Quick search. Do I just want to... Crushing Hammer. I could miss Fortune Sisters. I actually don't hate that. Hammer and Misfortune Sisters, I think, are both really good cards to play here. Oh. Kind of like Hammer. I kind of like Misfortune Sisters, though. I could Iono them. Just go Iono. Yeah, I kind of like Iono, actually. Let's do Iono. Sure, I don't know what it is. I maybe could have saved the Luxurious K, but they can one-shot Ursa Luna. So, it's fine. Okay, nice. That was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, we have Charon's Care Loop. It should be okay to bench lock. Okay. Instant charge. Okay. Uh, counter catcher's nice. Cheryl, Sharon's Care in the hand. Yeah, I don't know. I think we should be fine in this matchup. Should be fine. If this Bibbrel's stuck too, we're chilling. 
All right. If they got nothing for another turn, we're cooking here. I can't go Rare Candy or Saluna with this hand, though, which I guess is a little bit of a problem. And there's the switch. They finally got it. I think if I miss Fortune, I might have milled that, actually, because it was it might have been the next six cards. Maybe I should have played the Miss Fortune Sister instead of Iono. I think it was correct to Iono because they had a huge hand. Ah, right, whatever. We'll see what they do here. Five cards. There's an Arvin. We'll see if they grab off the Arvin. Do they have Rare Candy? Anything else? They only have one Serena in play, too, which is good. I do think we're probably going to utilize TM Devo in this matchup, if possible. Counter catcher, that's fine. I'm never going to take any prizes. Well, I am, but not right away. Hmm. Let's see what they do. They could have path, I guess, which is a problem. I'm actually going to ice school soul. Interesting. Hmm. It's fine. What do we draw? Another Teddy Ursa. Do I just Iono? I'm just going to go Iono. Try to get Rick and Ursa Luna off this. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, let's get the Ursa Luna and start doing P-Tunt. I'm not going to lie. In that Luya game, I was calling it P-Cunt because I thought it was Peak. I didn't. I, I, I literally just didn't see the T. I'm blind, bro. I'm, I'm blind. All right, P-Tunt. They can knock me out. That's fine. Um, We have the Gift Energy on. Seems good. Cool. All right. Let's see what they do here. We'll see. We'll see. I guess I needed Luxury Escape on this. We don't have to start the loop right away. My opponent is not really taking any prizes this entire match, though. That's the other thing. Are they going to Iono me? That's fine. We had Rare Candy, obviously. Whatever. It's fine. A new hand is a new hand at the end of the day. All right. What do you got for me? Okay. That's not bad. I'll take it. It's a good hand. Countercatcher Bibberol. They have one. They're actually they're running out of Ionos too, which is big. Once they get it, once they run out of Ionos, we're cooking, bro. Like they're they're cooked. Yeah, once they run out of Ionos, dude, they're cooked. Oh, they're not gonna knock me out. Really? Oh, they're gonna hit the Pidgey. I guess they wanna. Do they? They play boss though. I'm actually surprised they didn't knock me out there. Ooh, now we can like Uber punish them and put that on, and they can't one shot me. Now we can start the loop. Okay, we got Crushing Hammer. They might be playing around counter catcher, which is fair, but that's not going to work against me. So, yeah, nice try. All right. We'll just go rare candy chandelure. Might as well. Good opportunity to do it. All right. Let's mill three cards. See what we got here. Ideally, we mill rare candies and we can like win the game with like a team Devo. That's pretty good. Two Serenas is nice. They don't have any other things in play, but still. All right. And we'll peat hunt. Grab this and this back. I don't know it was actually probably the better card to grab there. That's fine. I think Crushing Hammer is fine. We can also just run them out of energy, which is pretty good. Do they have a boss? If they boss my Pidgeot, it's a little annoying. But not the end of the world. We still have Pete Hunt. And if they ever take prizes, we get Counter Catcher. Okay, that's fine. Their fourth Iono. Why not? Okay, whatever. Sure. It's fine. Another Ursa Luna. We're chilling. Ooh, they do play Path. That's annoying. That's why I was worried about they were playing Path to Peak. I did price two stadiums. Okay, that's a little scary, actually. They do play Path. That's fine, though. We can try to get rid of that. I can't do Rodom, though. They're still doing Ice School Soul, though, which is interesting. Oh, now they can take two prices on me, though. I can't do Team Devo. Oh, my God. The sack is real. Yeah, I cannot believe I drew that. That's kind of dirty. I don't know if I should have evolved that. All right. I cannot believe I drew that, though. Get farmed. <laughs> Holy moly. Can Charon's care into the other Saluna now? You can also just let the guy get knocked out. They have no, uh, they have no things left. They have no, uh, Ionos left. So we can, like, Misfortune Sisters here. And then next turn. Go for the Charon's care loop. I need to get Stadium back. Actually, Misfortune Sisters is probably not correct. We just get, like, Charon's care. We could get Cheryl. Let's grab Cheryl. I do Cheryl, but I can't attack. Okay, we'll wait a turn. Oh, but the stupid vanilla. Okay, that's fine. Let's instant charge. We know they're out of Ionos. This is fine. This is fine. We just Cheryl. I didn't get an energy, though, but I can pitch out for energy. Hmm. This is actually really awkward. Maybe I should have put Peonia back. 
I didn't think they were actually playing path. We'll see if they find another path. How many path do they realistically play, though, if they are playing multiple path? How many do they realistically play? There's Irida. Do they play a Lost Vacuum? Super Rod Vanillux. Okay, that's fine. I mean, still have the TM Devo is like a potential win con. Like, I think this is okay. Um, honestly, I wouldn't mind going... If they ever take prizes, I wouldn't mind going Counter Catcher Knockout Vanillux. They're trying to set up a win con with Eerie Cry. But again, we got the Cheryl, so it shouldn't really matter. Because we have Cheryl, I don't think they can really do anything about that. Cheryl P-Ton, like, wins us the game pretty much. Okay, we'll see what they do. If they have a path here, this is a little awkward. We actually might lose if they have a path. Because unless I draw an energy, we're cooked. I need them to not have a path here. It's actually really good. We They burned all their Ionos. Okay, cool. All right, we'll just Cheryl. I guess Rodon doesn't get healed, but who cares? <laughs> All right. Quick search. Grab an energy. I don't have boss. I can't kill that Vanillux, which is annoying, but honestly, who cares? All right. Cheryl, let's go. Heal the lads. And we'll attach. p -tunt. Grab this and this. I also probably should get Peonia back so I can get the other stadiums. That's probably a good idea. But I can always just P-Tunt for stadiums. Not a big deal. Now that we have Cheryl, I don't know what they can really do to stop me. They have to take prizes, but then I get Countercatcher. They're kind of in a they're in a tough spot right now. They're in a very tough spot. Okay. See what our top deck is. Manaphy. I guess they could knock out Pidgey on next turn, Braviary. But again, if they ever take prizes, I can, like, counter catch her. Let's Misfortune Sisters, I guess. Sure. We're not really doing Cheryl this turn, so let's Misfortune Sisters. Hey, two cards get milled. Let's go. Nothing really crazy got milled, but still. We can P-Tunt. I kind of like these two. Yeah, I like Misfortune Sisters Peonia here. Misfortune Sisters is good. I want to get Toro at some point, but we're going to have to probably do Cheryl next turn. We'll see if they knock me out Braviary here. They could knock out my Pidgeot, but I just have another one. It's not a big deal. And then I get Countercatcher, which they don't want to give me. They can only take five prizes. We want to make sure they can't take any more. Yeah, they can take five prizes. I'm going to win them the game, though. I guess they could take the five prizes and then, like, kind of still cook me. Okay, we'll quick search. We can just Turo Chandelure. That's probably the play. Just Turo the Chandelure here. Like I said, I don't really care if they kill Pidgeot. All right. Give me the Shandy back. I could just... P-Ton. Yeah. Cool. We'll see if they go for the three prize, the four prize KO here on the guys with the Braviary. If they knock out the Pidgeot, it's fine. Um, like I said, ooh, they're going for it. They're going to kill my Pidgeot. That's fine. Uh, maybe I should have done Cheryl there. I think this is okay, though. It's not really that big. Because now I can just, like, counter catch or something and, like, just stall it, basically. It's not a big deal. We can just get back the Pidgeot here. I get their idea, though. Because now they can knock out Ursaluna to win, which gets sketchy. But it's fine. We still have time to win this. It's not a big deal. Should be okay. All right, that's a big crushing hammer. Can we flip heads? Dang it. Cat's annoying. Do I just die Yono Countercatcher here? Iono Countercatcher. Seems good to me. Uh, They have the Bibril Irida. They could still get a switch, obviously. Hmm. Could Arvin to get Pidgeot, P-Ton. I could Chandelure. I need the Rare Candy for Pidgeot, but I guess I already have that. Nah, we don't need to Iono. There's no point. We're not trying to stall them. Yeah, there's no point. Let's do this. Grab me a Pidgey. We'll see if they can move. I can, like, we can Misfortune them. We can go Misfortune, or we can Rare Candy Chandelure. Let's do this. We'll go Rickany Shandy. And then hit him with the TM. We'll hit him with the Devolve. 
Or not the default. The, what am I saying? The mill three. Okay, nice. Rare candy. Okay, good. If once they run out of rare candy, too, we can take out that vanilla X. Then we can P ton. We'll see if they can move here. Maybe they don't have a switch. Maybe we get lucky and they don't switch. Hmm. <laughs> what I want. We can go like counter catcher rare candy, I think. I like that, yeah. Let's grab these. I also could. Well, no, I need the Pidgeot. I guess. Could I win without Pidgeot, though? Honestly, maybe. We don't really need Quick Search anymore. Maybe we don't even need the Pidgeot, actually. The more I think about it. Okay, there's Switch. That's fine. We're going to counter catch them next turn. As long as they have no Iono left, it doesn't really matter what they do. We should still be able to win this. They're going to Ice School Soul the Chandelure. We're going to Turbo that then. Okay, now I don't think they can beat the lock. Because now we can go counter catcher the Bibberol up again. Turo, the Chandelure. And just P-Town. Yeah, I don't even think I really need to go Pidgeot here. There's actually not really a reason to at this point. Let's get these back. All right, this is good. Actually, I should have got Counter Catcher back instead of Crushing Hammer. That was a misplay, but that's fine. We can always just wear Candy Pidgeot. If really worse comes to worse, it's not a big deal. I don't think they can beat the lock anymore. I think this should, this should just be GG's. Yep, there's the scoop. We were going to deck them out Chandelure. They couldn't do anything. All right, that was an interesting matchup. I wasn't expecting to hit Serene on the ladder, but you know what? The lock is real. And there you have it, folks. That is the Ursaluna deck in action. Honestly, a pretty decent control deck. Uh, being able to get any two cards back from a discard pile is honestly kind of OP. There's a reason why Oranguru got banned. The attack was so good that they had to ban it, but they did remake it with P-Ton. It is a stage two. Obviously, that's the biggest issue. This card is a stage two, but it is very tanky. 180 HP, especially with the combination of Luxurious Cape, does give you some insane stats. I think this card's biggest weakness Probably it's just the fact that, you know, it can lose to, you know, path and stuff. Obviously, TM Devo could be an issue. Um, but overall, it's not a bad control deck. And I'm definitely excited to try it out when we also get rotation. Because we are going to gain a Miss Energy, which improves your Roaring Moon matchup. And we also get another really nice card in the form of Hero Cape. So we get a new Ace spec and a new energy, which makes this deck even stronger. But for right now, honestly, it isn't that bad. I don't know what I would really change about the list after playing it. I think the list was actually pretty good. I considered maybe playing Luxray in the deck um, because you can use Luxray to knock out Pidgeot. So you can use it to attack threats and stuff because there are going to be times where you maybe want to attack. I mean, we did attack with the other attack here, Bulky Bump, in today's video. So it, maybe it's worth it to play like a Luxray. I did consider it. A Cleffa could be kind of cute too. I wouldn't mind maybe a Cleffa. A second Rodom could be kind of cool. I don't know. Like just more stuff could be added into the deck. Um, but overall, I like the list. I thought this deck was pretty fun to play. Control decks are definitely fun. It's a different way to play control, right? It's not just Snorlax, right? This deck actually makes your opponent, you know, attack you and do stuff. Like, this deck, obviously, like, it's 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 hard to play, in my opinion. This deck's a bit harder to pilot than Snorlax is, and it's not the same as Snorlax. So, uh, yeah. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 56,000 subs. Share a car comment down below if you need any codes. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, and the second YouTube channel down below. I did a video where I reacted to a brand new Infernape that looks pretty playable and a new Love Ball item card that eh, could be good. We'll have to see. It could be playable. But that'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.